Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Postman tutorial, we are going to learn about the Newman external reporters, right? So previously we have understood about the reporting options in Newman. So when you are executing your collection, how can you generate the report, right? So the default reports or the available reports that were there by default within Newman were CLI, JSON, JUnit, Progress and Emoji Train, which are not very useful if you have to share these reports to the business or over the email or you know to the wider team to look at what exactly is going on for that particular collection or the automation API automation overall for the project, right? So we need to rely on some of some sort of an external report or HTML report. So there is an HTML reporter which is maintained by Postman, right? Which can be installed by Node Package Manager, right? So you'll see here we have this command npm install hyphen g and then uh, HTML reporter. Yeah. So we are here. So Newman reporter HTML and then we have this npm install hyphen g Newman hyphen reporter hyphen HTML, right? So by default it is not installed in the Newman, but if we want to install we can simply copy this particular command right or simply in the command prompt what we'll do is we will type in this particular command right so node package manager npm and then we'll say install hyphen g and then newman hyphen porter hyphen htm okay and hit enter and then this particular reporter should get installed using the node package manager and we should be able to use this html reporter when we are trying to execute our collection run so let this installation finish so it is uh, it has started the download and overall progress okay so you'll see that it has added 171 packages right so overall it has uh, done the installation and then there is a uh, you know some some info here which is okay uh, overall the html reporter is installed right now in order to generate the html report what we have to do simply we have to use this reporters and then html like we were using junit or json right so similarly hyphen r or double hyphen reporters and then just pass html as an option there Okay, so in that particular case, the report, so you'll see that this is how we are going to generate the HTML report. Okay, so it will automatically go ahead and generate the HTML report. We just need to run the collection, right? And now if we simply say, all right, let's go ahead and run. So I'll say Newman run. Okay, and our collection was on the desktop. Okay, and the folder was Newman folder, right? Or Newman, yeah, Newman folder. And that's where we had, it was not folder, uh, I think it was the collections where we had all the coll postman collections, right? And then we had the collection, which is the Jira API test Jira cloud, okay? So that's the collection. And then we also have to select the environment. So hyphen E, an environment was also there on the desktop in the postman collections folder. We have the environment one, okay? And now in order to generate the report, right we'll just say hyphen r uh, for the report and in space html okay so now let's just run this and see the execution it should start the execution and html report should get generated okay so you'll see that i didn't specify cli right along with the html report so cli wasn't generated or the command line didn't show me any report right so directly html report should have got generated okay so let's quickly check where the report got generated so it should be somewhere in the c users pavilion okay and let's see how the report looks like so you'll see that i am in this c users folder location you will get a folder newman okay and within there if you don't specify a specific location for the report you will get this html report generated within this folder okay so for wherever you are executing this particular command from within that newman folder gets created and within those all the reports will get stored for example json or a, a junit if you don't specify a particular location for the report okay so let's quickly open this particular report dot html report and see how it looks okay so you'll see newman report and then it has the collection the time everything is being shown here what is uh, it's exported with then the total iterations requests etc everything is being logged in this particular html report and any failures and what all the requests are there okay so if i go to this request this is basically get request then the next one right uh, user assignable uh, what exactly has happened what is the url 
that has been hit so all of those details the responses etc the test everything is being logged in here and the pass count and fail count is being shown in this particular report now this is much better as compared to the other json and xml report or junit report because anyone can see the details and you can share this report with other stakeholders within your project okay so this this is still a basic html report now let's see what other options are available for the reporting okay so if i go to github reporter again and let's search for reports reporters okay and if i scroll down to the external reporters okay so this is the html report newman html reporter but if you scroll down a little bit here you will see that there are community maintained reports as well okay so there are other reports or reporters as well that we can use with newman okay there is an html extra report as well okay so you will see that once the custom reporter npm package has been installed either globally or locally this can be then used with newman in the following ways right so there are so there are custom packages so listed below is a selection of those but more can be found here okay so you will see that html so these are some of the reports here html extra right this is an updated version of standard html reporter containing a more in-depth data output and few helpful extras okay so if we want to have this html extra all right so numel newman reporter html extra is community managed and we can get a better report out of this html extra okay how we can install it let's see so this this is how this particular report will look like and this looks much better right in terms of different uh, details that that are shown there so in order to install it simply node package manager install hyphen g newman reporter html extra so any package that is maintained by the community for newman you can basically go ahead and follow the similar command to install it right so let me install html extra as well and i'll show you html extra report as well so npm install hyphen g newman reporter html extra hit enter let the installation finish so there is some deprecated warning but that's fine we don't need to worry about those too much okay so you'll see that there these are the packages that have been installed okay now in order to generate this extra report html extra we'll simply say hyphen r and then we'll say extra right hyphen r space html extra so if we go to the documentation you will see that we have the user newman run collection and then hyphen r html extra okay so that's pretty much what you have to do now the other command line option are remote reporter html extra export you can export it to a specific path as well okay so with this particular i can use this the command line option here so by default if i don't use the export path i'll get this extra report in this particular folder wherever i'm running this command then there'll be a folder newman created and then you'll get the report there okay so let me generate that report and see that it gets generated the extra report and it will be available here okay so uh, this command got executed now one more thing i want to cover is that currently i'm using the offline mode i am i have exported these collection and the environment i'm running it why i'm doing it because i do not want to consume those thousand api calls right postman api that you see so if i go ahead and just use the postman api or the the uh, postman api to execute those command using the key and uid as i have shown previously i you can still use all of these reporter option right but because i'm i'm running these offline okay so those api calls are not being consumed for me right so that is why i'm just sticking in order to learn reporting and everything you can just stick to this uh, command and not consume those thousand api postman api calls okay so now this extra report has been generated let's see the new report okay so this is the one that is got generated here this is the new one this is the newman one okay newman run report which is the default html and this is the extra report so if i open this one you will see now it is it has the light and dark mode okay so i'll go with the light mode okay you will see the summary right in the summary uh total iterations assertions how many failed skipped etc then the file information the environment information is being logged the timing and the summary total fail and passed everything is being logged in very beautiful format right this is what html extra report will look like 
then you'll have the option to total uh, see the total request uh, how many failed how many passed so this is much better as compared to the default html report that is provided by newman okay similarly if you go further you can explore generating this report on a specific path just use this particular option okay so in the command line as you generate the report you simply say uh, reporter html extra hyphen export and then provide the path wherever you want to store that particular file right so for example c drive i want to store it somewhere on the c drive in users folder okay so you just specify the path wherever you want to specify this report to be generated okay that's one thing the next thing is not only the html extra report that is there right there are many other reports that are available right so we have seen about the html reporter and html extra reporter but you can see that if you scroll below here in the report section right so we are in the external reporters you will scroll down you will see that we have got html extra which is much better looking html report then we have the option to, for LEO reports right and which will generate fully featured LEO reports okay maybe i'll create a separate video for generating the LEO reports as well but then you have the option to create a csv file okay json summary or a reporter build for test trail okay then we have another very important which is confluence reporter for newman that uploads a newman report on a confluence now this is really important because i think most of the projects nowadays you know from past maybe 10 years i have seen that uh, in any organization that i have worked confluence is always there right so it makes a lot of sense to upload these reports on execution whenever the execution happens on the confluence page right uh, and then that's where confluence this confluence reporter will help us a lot to do that in uploading it automatically as the execution completes right so we can integrate this execution in the um, ci tools so for example jenkins or a bamboo and then from there once that execution completes this reporter will then trigger the uploading of these report to confluence page and stakeholders can have access to that confluence page link wherein they can on a daily basis weekly basis depending on how you schedule your execution they can then see yes this execution has happened today what is the status right you don't have to even manually send this html report right so that's where this confluence one will be really helpful so i'll create a separate video for confluence and then maybe for allure right so a confluence is really important so i'll definitely do that but allure you can go ahead and explore uh, it will be op almost similar to what we have seen for the other reports okay so that's all for the external report options in newman and how you can generate the report in the next video i'll cover about the more reporting options or confluence report or uploading your newman report to confluence page in mode so that's all for this video i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching